Sarah, it really surprised so many people. They're calling it a blessing. In fact, one woman said they were greeted with a smile. Before the sun came up, the body of Barbara Bush arrived at St. Martin's Episcopal Church. Just before one, her husband, former President George H.W. Bush, arrived at the church to thank the mourners who paid their respects. That included Angela Carter. We were surprised to see him there, but it, I was, it was a blessing, really a royalty to meet him. And um, he spoke to us this morning, said good morning, and I told him blessings because he's been through a lot. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo greeted U.S. Senator John Cornyn. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee was also here for the visitation. HUD Secretary Ben Carson also came. He said Mrs. Bush was his mother's hero. The fact that she was so straightforward and, uh, you know, you knew where she stood. Uh, even if you didn't agree with her, you knew where she stood and she was a person of great principle. That's the way that my mother was also. And, uh, and that was something that, that I learned from her. Preparations are now underway for Mrs. Bush's funeral that will include four former presidents and the first lady. Mrs. Bush chose her son, former Governor Jeb Bush, as well as presidential biographer John Meacham to be among those delivering eulogies. There may not be another woman in the history of the United States uh, that has done so much to contribute uh, to our country uh, than Barbara Bush, and especially uh, with the standard and role model that she set. We're still watching people come out of the church this afternoon. One thing I've noticed, so many women are wearing blue today. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll talk to former White House Secretary, Press Secretary Marlon Fitzwater. He told me today he feels like he is on one last assignment from Mrs. Bush. We'll hear from him at 6. Keith, Sarah.